Welcome traders, Patrick Ed Trader, Trading123.net. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove an indicator and install an indicator. A lot of people don't know how to do it in NinjaTrader 8, and we get a lot of emails about it, so I figured I'd make this video. So first thing you got to do is go over to your control center here in NinjaTrader. This is your control center with all the tabs up here and on the bottom. And then you select tools and then you to remove it you would select this remove ninja script assembly you click on that and it'll bring up all the indicators that you have and strategies for ninja trader it'll bring this up in a pop-up box and then you select the indicator that you want to remove We'll show you how to do that next. So after you click that, a box like this will appear and you scroll down to find the indicator that you want to remove. And so say we want to remove the market cycle indicator. So we highlight on it, hit remove. And it'll take about 30 seconds and it'll remove it off of your computer and from Ninja Trader, and then you'll get a pop-up window that says that it was removed successfully. Now that's how you remove an indicator and if you're installing a new updated indicator you should then close save and close down Ninja Trader, restart your computer and then we'll go through the import process of importing a new indicator. So to import a new indicator that you had just purchased or downloaded or you're updating your computer or putting software on a new computer, you go over here to the control center once again. This is the control center that contains all the tools that you need to use to do anything to NinjaTrader 8. So you select Tools, what's it doing, Tools, well oh, hold on, damn it, you select Tools, Import, and select Ninja Script Add-on, and then it'll bring up a list of files on your computer once you click this, or if you downloaded them to your desktop or they're in your downloads folder you go to the downloads folder it'll pop up and then you select the indicator you want to import so let's take a look so it, it will bring up your files like I said on your computer if you download something it'd be in your downloads file if it was on your desktop you'd go to your desktop but usually Ninja Trader automatically does it and say we want to install the trading one two three fibs indicator you would highlight it and then say import and then it will start to import the document or the indicator and once it's complete it will say import successful and then you're done and then you could go to to check to see if it was successful you could go back to the tools menu and say remove ninja script assembly and make sure it's in there on the list and then I would restart the computer save ninja trader and restart the computer once the computer restarts load ninja trader and then Simply add the indicator to the chart by right clicking on the chart, selecting indicators, or if it's a strategy, you would select strategy. And then the list will appear again, and then you just click add to chart, and then it'll add it to the chart, and you should see uh, the label up in the left hand corner for the indicator that you purchased. So I hope this answers all the questions that you have on how to install an indicator and how to remove an indicator. 
Pretty simple in Ninja Trader, not too complicated. Watch this video to fully understand how to do it. Got any questions? You can always contact us at support at trading123.net. And be, so, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here for more trading tips and trading videos. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Hope you have a good evening. See you next time in the next video. This is Patrick Head Trader, Trading123.